I want to welcome you all to the Day 2 CBE 2019 Summit. Clap it up for yourselves for being here. I'm super excited to be your host. I'm Greg Hammonds, and by day, I am a YouTuber. And all of my other time, I spend traveling the country doing motivational talks and workshops for youth in high school and college on professional and personal development via my company, Forever Phase LLC. And so if you have any youth that need access to new inspiration, new resources, please feel free to get in touch with me. But yesterday, as we said, was a phenomenal kickoff to CBE. You had a day filled with tons of speakers, and I hear that there was a lot of networking and just a lot to learn. So thank you all so much for coming back. Uh, as you know, the Coalition of Black Excellence was founded as a 501c3 in 2018 with the goal of uniting and elevating the black community. So as you go through today, we want you to continue to reach out to each other, continue to learn, and, and take full advantage of all the resources that we have here for you today. So before we get started, I just wanna give you all a little run of the show so you know exactly what's happening, and then we'll get into some housekeeping and logistics, and then we'll get the show on the road. That sound good? I, oh, wait a minute now, I said, does that sound good? All right, I need some energy, it's early, but we're here, and we're excited because we are the Coalition of Black Excellence. So, we are gonna kick things off with morning remarks from Safir Rob, who's the CEO of Interculture. Then we're gonna dive into the pitch competition, which will be right here on this main stage, so make sure you come in here and you don't miss it. We also have two health talks happening down, uh, that will be taking place downstairs, and we also have the health and well-being area. So as we mentioned, you know, make sure you tap into that knowledge base in, in that place of networking and, and um, inspiration. And then we will finish with a panel discussion on racial disparities in the black healthcare community. So in terms of logistics and some housekeeping things, if you haven't done so already, download the conference app that can be found at CBE's homepage, www.cbeweek.com. It's www.cbeweek.com. So you can get access to all the amazing sessions that we have here. And the passcode is build, promote, inspire. Build, promote, inspire. We have added some great sessions today, and so make sure as you go down to the health and well-being fair, you don't forget to also stop by the vendor showcase. So we have some phenomenal vendors here, and that's something that, you know, I live in Oakland, and, you know, in Oakland, we really take pride in investing in the community, especially the local community. So these vendors are here, they want to provide for you, and they want you to learn about what they do, and I think it's so important that we support them. So make sure you go downstairs and show them some love. We also have free CBE t-shirts for you at registration, so make sure you don't forget to grab that. Um, Shirt Bucks has live printing, so just check in with them. And with that being said, I would like to kick off with the introduction of Safir Rob, who is the CEO of Inner Culture and also a CBE Advisory Board member. Safir leads the Inner Culture team in providing our clients with culturally com competent business solutions. Initiating his career at the intersection of community development and social enterprise, his work has improved results for efforts ranging from business development and job creation to drug treatment and affordable housing. In the US and internationally, he has assisted numerous organizations and the enterprises with developing strategic approaches, improved relationships, financing options, and general good judgment to carry forward their agendas. With the keen ability to identify and incorporate critical concerns from multiple perspectives, from multiple perspectives, Safir's approach results in increased efficiency, profitability, positive social impact for intercultural clients, and a lot of moving forward in the right direction for, the, for his clients. A former consultant to President Obama's transition team for, diplom for public diplomacy, Safir is a member of the Pacific Council on International Policy and a board member of Educate Girls Globally. With that being said, please help me in welcoming Safir Rob. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to thank Greg for the good introduction, great introduction, humbling introduction. Um, 
I, I'm uh, in, in, a, in the position of uh, giving welcome remarks to a group of people who really are the uh, honorees, I would say, of this auspicious occasion, which is uh, uh, the summit, first annual summit of the Coalition of Black Excellence. Um, as, as Greg mentioned, I cut my teeth as a career trying to find the balance between, you know, being involved and relevant uh, within the black community, within the community at large, and having a career, you know, making money, earning. Um, and that was a very tough balance for me, as I'm sure many of you may have also experienced. You know, how do you find uh, a community of practice to solidify your own ambitions, the ambitions of your family, the ambitions of your children? And you wind up seeking communities of practice outside of your professional experience, outside of your work, to, to feel that concern. And, you know, many of, what's, many of the, the, the options that are out there, uh, unless it's the church or something spiritual, uh, oftentimes, for me, left me feeling as though there is still a lack. You know, there's a need to bridge between really ambitious and excellent upward mobility within a corporate context and basic service and excellence, you know, being, being imposed or cultivated within the, within the community. And um, when Angela, Johnson came up with the Coalition of Black Excellence and was pulling together board members, the easiest thing in the world for me to accept to participate in, and a big honor for me, as it ought to be an honor for you, to be a part of this effort. What I find different about the Coalition of Black Excellence is that it's not just focused on uh, you know, talking about excellence and having a bunch of folks that are successful and perfect talking to themselves about how perfect they are. This is about really establishing a robust and deep coalition that goes into communities and becomes you know, very thoughtful about how the organization occurs. And there's been a lot of debate within the advisory board, within the, the, the other board, within the administrative team on how, how, how do you really capture development in a diffused way so that as you mobilize, as this is well mobilized, you, you have the right organization to pull in the right people and, and, and the right participation and the right uh, relevance because it's constantly changing. And, uh, and so this is, this is a, a first step in that direction, a down payment in that direction. Um, but it was, it, it was really responded to by everyone who was approached in the same way that it hit me. You know, Google responded in the same way. Facebook responded in the same way. All these large companies, Slack, uh, sponsors. I hope I'm not leaving out some sponsors. I'm supposed to be shouting out right now. But it's, it, it, you know, everyone, everyone responded extraordinarily positively. And they recognized something, and this, this came up, and I think it's worth sharing, which is the mm, Silicon Valley and San Francisco, as it were, is a place that is actually leading the world in producing how content is created and consumed and the platforms that do the same thing and new industries that provide new jobs that will sustain new lives that aren't even born yet. Um, so that there, there becomes a responsibility attached to those who are proximate to this location to take care of the concerns and advocate for those who are not proximate to this location. And, um, you know, I, I very much see the Coalition of Black Excellence as that, and I hope that you will as well. You know, it's sort of like being in America and you're seeing something irresponsible happening in apartheid South, South Africa or whatever. Not, not to compare, the, you know, America to South Africa in its apartheid time, even though there was a period of America that was like that. But it took folks that were, that were located at the center of power, which was the United States of America, to move the needle on this global concern that abused human rights. And if there are abuses about access to excellence, access to jobs, access to 
all of the sort of things that represent the best aspirations that we have for our children and ourselves and our future generations, then those who are proximate to that center of power have a responsibility. So everybody who's in the Bay Area are really the ambassadors and representation, representatives of all black people everywhere to make certain you widen the gap and inform those of us who live like, my, like I do on the East Coast, you know, how do you get into uh, Silicon Valley? How do you, how do you, how do you get, get down with the get down? How, you know, wh wh how does that happen? It's, it's tough and you all live it, you breathe it. You know parts of it that are, that are really unfamiliar and distanced uh, to, to the conscience of, of many, many people who don't live here. So this is kind of um, uh, the, the vision of, of CBE will become a, a, a sort of clearinghouse for that concern that's the, and that, that goes way beyond just as we tend to think about it in the East Coast or out, outside of Silicon Valley. Oh, it's not just about tech companies. It's about food and wine. It's about you know, schools and education. It's about advocacy and policy change. It's about so many things. So we want to, we, we, we want to invite everyone here to, in their local area, wherever they're from, whether it's Atlanta or Baltimore, or right here in the Bay, to embrace and bring to the coalition of black excellence performing concerns that are happening in your area, to link with other performing concerns that will garner the resources and promote. And I'm telling you what's going to happen just as this next session, as I wind down my remarks, is going to do. It will provide value and investment and insights to those who oftentimes just don't have access. And so that, that's, that's really what this is about. It's, it's about creating a coalition to provide the access to improve results. Coalition of Black Excellence. I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. I, am, I invite you to not only you know, uh, accept your, uh, uh, my, my honoring of you and your presence here, but actually do something about that honor. Go back, find what is your local affiliation, what, are, what is your representative to the coalition in your local area, so then you bring excellence from your area, and we link excellence to excellence to excellence, and before you know it, there are thousands of people enjoy, enjoying a wonderfully produced event that will actually change the world. Thank you for being a part of it, and um, I'm gonna close my, my remarks right here. Take care.